It's Friday, September 29th. How has homecoming changed? How do you pep rally? And how do you want to be remembered? Good morning, Jackets. I'm Amy Johnson. Welcome back to the Stinger on Air. Homecoming is a tradition dating all the way back to the early 1900s meant to welcome alumni back to their alma mater. Braxton Rollison has a story. Over the years, homecoming traditions have come and gone, but some things have withstood the test of time. This year, homecoming is celebrated at BHS with a week full of dress-up days, a pep rally, and of course, the football game. Teacher Julian Whelan says there are some traditions that have to change with the times. We don't do the spirit links anymore, and we don't do the posters or the, um, yeah, we don't do the class posters or anything like that. But we still do have class competitions of some sort. But, um, yeah, it was just more kind of traditional, traditional stuff where it's more, um, in the now, you know, we, it's just changed to kind of fit society now. One major part of homecoming is the homecoming court. Over the years, the royal dress code has changed. We used to have these big pom-pom moms. I swear they were like humongous. Whelan says the court nomination process has improved over time. It used to be only senior football players could ask people, and now if you want to be in homecoming, you can like nominate yourself or whatever. She wishes the homecoming parade would make a return. But I'd like to see that come back because that was really cool because um, different clubs could enter a float for homecoming, decorate it how they wanted to. Um, the band was involved, RTC was involved, cheerleaders were involved, football. I mean, every, it, it just seemed to involve so many more students. Whelan says participation is key in having the most fun during homecoming. It's cool to participate. I mean, you can come to high school and you can have, I mean, you can come every day. Yep, okay, whatever. But when you participate in stuff, it does make it a lot more fun. Homecoming. Time to remember the past, celebrate the present, and envision a brighter future together. I'm Braxton Rollison for Stinger On Air. Christina Medinger's Sports Med 2 class is learning about biomechanics in a unique way. The students conducted a gait analysis by painting the bottoms of their feet and walking along a big piece of paper. Then, the class measured the distance between each step to learn more about how they walk and how it affects them. Menninger says this is important because the body is the chain and that diagnosing problems in posture and walking can help fix issues in other areas. Students from the health science class traveled to MUSC Medical Center for Robotics Week. The class got to meet a robotic surgeon, learn about the progression of robotic surgery, and even got hands-on experience with their robotic surgeon team. The BHS FCA sponsored this year's See You at the Pole event. Students and teachers gathered at the practice softball field Wednesday to pray for our schools, friends, and nation. See You at the Pole began in 1990 in Burleson, Texas, when a group of teenagers gathered to pray for several schools. Fellowship of Christian Athletes organizes events like this one nationwide. This week we're back with another Jacket Culture. And we're going to tell you everything you need to know about this week. <laughs> Sunday, October 1st is Katherine Herberger and Kim Parker's birthday. Make sure you tell them happy early birthday. Do you play softball? No. Do you want to play softball? Anyone interested in playing softball this year needs to get in touch with Coach Allen. Practices start on October 2nd. For more information, contact Coach Allen. If you're an underclassman and mistaking your yearbook pictures, October 2nd is your chance to make it up. And hey, it's pep rally time. Wait, but how do you pep rally? I actually don't know, Taylor. If only we had someone to find out. Hey y'all, it's me Cletus. And me Barbara. And as y'all know, we were the pep rally legends. <laughs> <laughs> you may or may not know, but Buford has a hand sign. So let's see if you young bloods know what it is nowadays. What is the Buford hand sign? No, the Buford hand sign is a B in sign language, which is done during the alma mater. Wait, you don't know what the alma mater is? Well, it's right here. Whenever the cheerleaders and the sports teams come out, make sure you're cheering them on. Yeah, show some support for your peers. What do you do at a pep rally when the cheerleaders and the sports teams come out? Ah! Let's go! Ah! Well, at least some of you youngsters know. Speaking of cheering, when the MC comes out, make sure you're loud but respectful. Make sure you're showing support for your school by wearing maroon and gold. 
Also, make sure anything you post regarding the pep rally is positive. Not like I'd see it. I don't know how to use the internet. I'm glad the Stanger gave us the chance to show y'all whippersnappers how it's done. Clearly, I've never been to one before. This is all for the pep rally tutorial with Cletus and Barbara. Okay, that's all for this week's Jacket Culture with Michaela and Taylor. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Michaela. If you have any announcements you want to see on the show, make sure to let us know. Speaking of announcements, the singer has added a new feature every morning. Happy Homecoming Week! I'm Tabitha Thompson and welcome to the first morning stand. Our very own Tabitha Thompson is the new voice and producer of the morning announcements. If you want your announcements featured in the morning stinger, be sure to email Matthew Collier at matthew.collier at lcsd.k12.sc.us. Turning to sports, the Lady Jackets are killing it on the volleyball court. Tuesday, the volleyball varsity team swept the Chiral Lady Braves three sets to zero. On the JV level, the Lady Jackets have spiked the competition this season and remain undefeated. Way to go, girls! The Yellow Jackets football team failed across last week 24-0. The Yellow Jackets are looking to rebound tonight against Central Pageland at home. Kickoff is at 7.30 and the theme is maroon and gold. Be sure to dress up to show that jacket pride. And don't forget, midnight hour is held after the game on the practice softball field. The event, sponsored by the FCA, will have food, drinks, and an inspirational message. The BHS cross-country team saw success on the trails. The girls placed second overall against eight teams Tuesday. Hannah Belk finished third and Braden Crawford finished fourth. Way to go, Jackets. Did you know the way you are remembered by others is often not about what you wear and how you look, but the way you make people feel? Coming up after Mr. Belk. Thanks so much, Jimmy Grace. I appreciate it. Good morning, Jackets. Just want to start off by thanking our Stinger staff for taking care of our staff birthdays. Uh, really appreciate that. I know they're going to do some graphics and some great things. So thank you for shouting out our staff birthdays. We appreciate that. All right, diving into Jacket Pride. Remember, personal responsibility, respect, integrity, dedication, and excellence. We have several uh, recipients for this week that I want to shout out. First of all, Dylan Suttles, James Broughton, Landon Smith, Aubrey Shamness, and Bobby Johnson. I want to thank Miss Ash, Miss Guerrero, and Miss Mills for finding what you're looking for, recognizing these individuals. Y'all come up during your own time, get you a little shout out in your Cersei. And then Bobby Johnson, you are our t shirt winner for this week. Great job, everybody. Thank you for showing that jacket pride. Keep it up. All right, a few things to be mindful for, or of, I should say. Special thanks goes out to our student council, as well as Ms. Dana Wilson and our homecoming committee for making this a great week for our students, this homecoming week. Very thankful for all that's happened and all that we will do. Just be mindful, they planned an amazing uh, homecoming pep rally for y'all today. After third block and second lunch, we will go to fourth block for flex time, and then we will begin dismissing around 2.30 for classes to come to the main gym for our pep rally. Really excited for that. Can't wait. Also can't wait for Friday night's festivities uh, and, and crowning our homecoming queen. Special time for everybody. All right, with that being said, report cards were issued yesterday. Uh, really excited about where we stand. Jacket Pride will be coming up next Friday, our celebration. Remember, as I've mentioned before, you steer where you stare. So as you're entering this building every day, where is that focus? Are you going towards the destination that you see uh, for your future, okay? So remember, you stay where you stare, keep that focus, keep uh, that intensity, and doing the right things, all right? A couple things to be mindful for as we wrap up this week. At this time, we are prepared to vote for the BHS Homecoming Queen 2023. The link to the uh, Google form can be found in your grade level Google Classrooms and will be open for approximately 10 minutes. So be sure that you take the time now to vote for Homecoming Queen. Everybody have a great and safe weekend. When the time comes, go Jackets. Thanks, Mr. Belk. On average, you will have 12 social interactions each day. But how many of those will be memorable? How do you want people to remember you? Emily Benton and Taylor Green went to the street to find out. It's homecoming week, which means the alumni are back and visiting at BHS. Speaking of former students, we're all going to graduate someday. So how would you like to be remembered after you graduate? How would you like to be remembered after you graduate? The guy that loved Mr. Belk. 
I want to be remembered as the girl who wore a wig and heels and dressed as Barbie for Pink Day. Four-time state champ in wrestling. How do you want to be remembered after high school? I want to be the one that was uh, known as like the cool person with everyone. Uh, a good GPA. I want a good GPA. Um, like really, really funny. How do you want to be remembered after high school? I want to be remembered as somebody who made a difference at the school. How do you want to be remembered after high school? Uh, the best welder in Buford. I already know I'm going to be remembered as somebody who never stops talking, but I would like to be remembered as somebody who people knew they could come to for anything. That's it for this Stinger on the Street with Taylor Green and Emily Benton. That's it for this edition of the Stinger on Air. A big thank you to our sponsors both here and on BufordStinger.com. If you're interested in becoming a Stinger supporter, check out our website at BufordStinger.com. You can also support us by checking out our Amazon wish list by checking on the wish list tab on our website. The list contains many of the items we need for our program. Don't forget to like this video and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Until next week, I'm Emmy Johnson for Stinger on Air.